Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today guys I'll, I will do a general uh, reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. So Sagittarius, let's begin. We do have the Nine of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, Wish Fulfillment and Partnership. Okay. Well, we most certainly want Wish Fulfillment and we certainly want a solid partnership. Three of Pentacles actually a solid one. Three of Pentacles and Lovers. Right. And in this reading is not about the signs, the signs is more about the energies and what we need to focus at this time. And I would say it looks like building a solid partnership, the one that uh, Three of Pentacles, the energy of working together, of building a life together. And now I have the Two of Cups. We love this. A lot of love. Good. So let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall focus, right? Because this is what we are asking. What am I supposed to focus on at this time? Oh, and it is getting your wish come true. Fulfillment of wishes. This is what you need to focus on. Whatever makes you emotionally abundant and emotionally fulfilled and emotionally nurtured. And it does look like a partnership, Sagittarius. And this is what we need to focus on. It's time to have a family for some of you. It's kind of like the universe pointing out, you know what? Yeah, money are good or career or whatever. But nothing replaces a sense of coming home to somebody. Right? So we have it here. Four of Wands, Nine of Cups. Marriage and wish fulfillment or commitment. Or a sense of life, a sense of building. Now let's see what we need to focus on at this time. So we do have the energy of the body. What exactly we need to focus when it comes to body, when it comes to mind, soul or spirit, and when it comes to love. Bottom of the deck, seven of wands. We might be a little bit defensive and the universe is saying, how about we allow energies back into the flow? We do have stand your ground, but this is what you need to kind of, right? To kind of put into motion. Yeah. So let's see the body such Sagittarius. Oh my God, it's love making. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, because you do have the lovers. You do have the lovers. So somebody here needs a good um, <clears throat> love bond, physical bond, right? Um, but it's more than that. I mean, what is, uh, you know, we, I'm sure we know the difference between uh, real lovemaking and just an F. So um, I'm just saying, you know, paid entertainment, as I like to, as I like to call it, but I, f I find it interesting, right? We asked what we need to focus on at this time and it, um, the lovers show up, showed up and it's, um, it's about choices, but it's about bond. Um, so yeah. Such as we really need to make love a little bit more often. Probably we are not really, um, you know, putting the energy there. So harmony, body, mind, and soul. But we asked for the body and the and the love showed up. For some of you, I know, right? And you know by now this is all about self-love. It's about choosing you. Uh, because it's also the energy of choices and um, loving your body for some of you it goes down to maybe it's something that you don't pay attention to or you know we are so harsh on ourselves and we have standards coming from all places right so this is the energy oh please love your body and focus on loving and paying attention and because we have two people really looking at each other with desire for some of you actually that's what we need to focus on when it comes to mind balance, we do have the Six of Pentacles balance and reciprocation. For some of you, it's decision making and the way we make decisions, the way we bring the mind into balance, right? It's my it's a minor arcana, justice, Six of Pentacles. It's all about reciprocation. So some of you actually you are really guided to focus on that kind of energy. I tend to believe because it's again decision and it's interesting, right? Lovers is um, an energy of decision, making an important decision. Six of Pentacles is making a just decision. So I feel um, such as that we might be at that place at this time where we have like an important decision to make, be it about love, be it about yourself, be it about uh, what makes you um, 
feel at ease in your life and especially when it comes to mind um soul spirit oh my god isn't it beautiful it's all about enlightenment sagittarius and the the sun is in the energy of the soul and the spirit so i would say this um actually it's a very important time for you and the universe is kind of saying i'm bringing the light do you see it right i'm bringing the light do you see it I'm bringing an awakening. This is um, a time of awakening, and, and it is honestly for all of us, right? Um, not just such that it is. It is an energy of enlightenment, and it's an energy of we are going through the worst um, um, time ever, and that is some wisdom, and that is some um, you know important lessons that we need to learn. And I'm sensing kind of the universe. Um, such that this is asking you to open up to this enlightenment that comes. It might be kind of a painful enlightenment, I would say, but I'm not concerned when I see the lovers with the sun. It's like, you know, it's going to happen in a loving way where you need to focus on enlightenment and love at this time. But I love in the spirit energy having the sun. Are you kidding me? Beautiful. And when it comes to love, we need to, it's interesting, right? It's um, swords. So when it comes to love, we need to be clear in our head about, we need to make a choice, we need to make a vision. The universe is kind of asking you to focus on, again, a sense of decision-making, such that I don't know if you are at crossroads at this time. And we need to choose in regards to love, we need to choose in regards to the mind, and we need to see the awakening, and we need to have when it comes to love, we need to be smart about, have a plan, have a vision, uh, be um, clear-minded and make a choice from a place of, I would say, deliberate kind of thought, right? Ace of Swords is really um, the energy of wits and smarts. Um, so, such size, let's see when it comes to love what we are guided to do here. We know that we need to focus on, but, but then what else? Right. So we do have receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. So some of you, you are really guided to receive with love. Probably you have somebody around you who loves you and maybe you are not giving them the time of day. And you are now guided to receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. We do have creativity. Some of you really need to be creative about you might have creative energies around you. Um, or simply you are guided to use that in order to make this connection, this love, this clarity come to you and work for you. And we have manifestation. This is the magician energy. Uh, creativity and manifestation. I probably this is kind of the universe guiding you to use the law of attraction. And the manifestation in order for you to get the love that you want. And it's like a deliberate decision of using manifestation and the law of attraction and the enlightenment energy and the awareness um, that you have to open up to, right? This is what we need to focus on. Manifestation and creation. I love this. Now let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow, Sagittarius. I know. Oh, it's such a beautiful reading. We do have self-love. So for some of you receiving the lovers for the energy, for the body, we do have self-love and it makes sense, right? This is all about um, changing lifestyle. I don't, wanna, um, I don't like to talk about diets, but I do love to talk about um, changing lifestyle um, and um, self-care and self-healing, right? And now we have self-love. So you realize that love of self is necessary to love another. I'm kind of sensing that you forgot about yourself or you put yourself last on the list. And the universe is saying, no, 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 no. You need to love yourself first if we want to have success. So Sagittarius, this is what we need to put back into the flow. I know that there is no greater goal than love. So that's how we get the overall energy, Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, and the Four of Wands, Stability and Commitment. We do have, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. We do have failure, so somebody needs to deal with, actually, right? 
So I understand that a mistake is an opportunity to learn. We might have made mistakes in the past. We might be even worried about. We do have worry. I am learning that worries don't change an outcome. So there is some acceptance to be had, some um, lessons to be integrated. And guess what? We have cause effect. That's interesting, right? That's karma. You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. Cause and effect. You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. 